Oh, well, hey, everybody, it's History Bill. You may know me as the guy from the Tennessee History for Kids videos. Yep, that's me. Well, this video is about the Tennessee History for Kids organization and the Tennessee History for Kids website. And I'm your host. So let's start off with the basics. Tennessee History for Kids is a not-for-profit organization that helps teachers teach, students learn, and parents help with Tennessee history, civics, and geography. It gets part of its money from government and part from the private sector. Now, the main Tennessee History for Kids flagship is a free website that is used in classrooms across Tennessee. And let me go over a few basic things about the website and how it works. The real meat of the site, as far as classroom usage is concerned, is across the top here. This blue line, you see where it says click on your grade? Well, let's say you're an eighth grade student or parent or teacher. Go ahead and click on the number eight and you'll be taken to a sort of table of contents, internet style. What you have here is a little textbook of Tennessee history that is specially written for eighth graders in Tennessee public schools. This is a year in which students are taking an early American history class from the beginning of time to about the Civil War and they're supposed to be learning Tennessee specific things as that year goes on. Things such as the story of Kings Mountain and the lost state of Franklin and Andrew Jackson's background. Things that are really important to know but which probably aren't covered too well in your textbook. Well if you click on the various chapters here you will see that we covered that stuff. Now try it for the fifth grade which is a grade in which teachers cover more recent American history along with Tennessee specific things such as Alvin York, TVA, and the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee. Again, here's a table of contents with a lot of interesting text that tells you all this stuff. Now if you click on other numbers along the blue line, you'll see other big sections for grades 2, grade 4, grade 7, and under the H for high school, grade 11. All of these correspond with the required curriculum in Tennessee's public schools which require that Tennessee specific things be covered throughout the curriculum and not just in one grade. And now for a great moment in the history of Tennessee History for Kids. No! Okay, I, I don't know what the problem is. We need great moments. Great moments in the history of Tennessee History for Kids. Lined up now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a great moment. Who chose these moments? Okay, from now on, I just want great moments. Okay, now, going back to the website. Down the left side, these things that we call nav bars and internet lingo. I'm going to skip through these first few, but let's click on the word people. People consists of a list of famous Tennesseans and short biographical descriptions of each of them. I think the best way to describe these 45 or so Tennesseans is to say that they are report worthy. So if you're a student and your teacher assigns you to do a report on a famous Tennessean, this is a good place to start. Here you can learn about everyone from Bessie Smith, the Empress of the Blues, to Elvis Presley, the King of Rock and Roll, to Perry Wallace, the first high profile black athlete in the Southeastern Conference, to Clarence Saunders, who was the founder of Piggly Wiggly. If you want to learn about famous Tennesseans, this is the place. Do we have that great moment ready? We got it. Okay. And now for another great moment in the history of Tennessee history for kids. Well, hello, everybody. It's history. Well, hello, everybody. It's. I'm sorry. And I am in Nashville today where I'm going to learn all about the. We seem to have a failure to communicate, folks. I said. Great moments. Great moments in the history of Tennessee history for kids, okay? We got it? Okay, from now on. All right. Now, moving on past people. Under the word people, click on civics. What we have here is a three-part section on Tennessee civics. Now, notice I said Tennessee civics and not Washington, D.C. civics. This is how Tennessee's government is organized. How a bill becomes law in Nashville, how the three branches of government work in the state, here, for example, you'll find a section for middle school students called A Day in the Life of Governor Bredesen. And over here, you will find a section for elementary school students on where Tennessee state government gets its money. 
Probably the best section here is a 13 chapter section for high school government students on how Tennessee state government works. Here you'll find chapters on how a bill really becomes law, on lobbyists, on reporters, and even some stuff on the Tennessee Supreme Court. My name is Lois D. Bear. And you're not just, um... Speaker Pro Tem, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, when people um, say to them as far as 